Greetings petrol head. my name is Tom, you're on my gaming channel and in today's episode of Automation a Car Company Tycoon Game I'm gonna be doing something I've never done before. I'm going to be building a car that doesn't exist in the real world and is based off on a hand drawing. In this case from Parker Brandon, I mean he's not comfortable sharing that with others and I, you know, can understand that. I, I wouldn't be comfortable um, showing any of my of my own hand drawings either, but that's because I'm terrible. And uh, yeah, so it is it is going to be a mid-engine hypercar. It's it is all I can say about it. So with that, um. I'm gonna try and make yeah okay just make this as flat as possible extend that a little bit make the wheel arches as wide as possible because we're gonna it's gonna have to deal with a significant amount of power let's just let's just put it that way alrighty Obviously, like the the cost doesn't really matter. <laughs> That's one thing. Longitudinal, double wishbone front and rear, common fiber, plus, plus 15 quality. You can fit wider tires on the front than on the rear? That's interesting. I don't think you want... Wait, what? From here on it's 395s and here it's still 395s on the front. That's, uh, that's interesting. Let's leave it here. Good. Um, so um, let's let's get to the front end here. We do have a, a pretty interesting bumper setup here, in that we have some of these things about here and they connect up to uh, where are they now some of these I guess something like this well, I am going to put a lip on the front anyway, so this shouldn't be a big problem. Actually, what is, though, are the holes on the side of these vents I last put down? Why am I putting down lips on the front? Because I'm going to have wings on the rear end and we want to have good downforce on both ends of the car what if I rotate this a little bit more it's getting worse that's that's what happens then what if I go for a different fixture like say this Alright, then it's fine. Uh, okay, so these these are actually further on the outside. And then it has this, like an, an arrangement similar to this, but a little bit bigger. Um, like here as well. Wait, why did why didn't it clone it? There we go. Uh, 
Uh, is this accurate? Not quite yet. This needs to be extended a little bit longer. And that just sounded much dirtier than it was intended to sound. Uh, so, I think we can reduce the size of this just a little bit. And then add one of these in here. Because that's what it looks like to me on you know the pictures I have and then I don't know what what's leading up into that is that is that some form of of uh, fog lights or something like that um, okay Probably yes, but let's go for these instead. And I know I could have just chosen. I could have just clicked like this. But like this, and then. So we're going to cover a part of this. Like that. same thing on the other side so if these really are the fog lights I, I think that's a pretty cool idea um, we have a longitudinal badge about well let's what the heck okay this is too big <laughs> Let's just um, let's just make this longer then. We have it about like here, but we're still far from being done here, uh, because what else we have is some of these. Yeah, yeah, totally. And now I'm gonna clone this one. And then we have the actual headlights, uh, which are too far on the outside, I think, for me to even put them there, but I'm gonna try. So first of all, we're going to make the shape. Okay, how is the shape? The shape is... Well, it's, it's not that... The basic outer shape is not that difficult to accomplish. Basically, it's... One of these. these but a little bit longer then this on the bottom side it's on the bottom edge ah, okay and now we have a little bit of a problem
So let's make this a little bit thicker. And then get one of these bad boys over there as well. No, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Now we're going to put the headlights in. that and I think I want to add some details in there as well that aren't visible on the original drawings I received but they are very basic <laughs> if you will like he, he also said he created this uh, these drawings like a long time ago and I can understand that so let's add a little bit of a of an aggressive touch in there So this is uh, not very easily visible, but should be fine once it's actually indicating. Uh, and then we're gonna go to the bonnet, where we have something like this on here. And a couple of vents that look basically like Basically like these, I would say. Where exactly do they go? Okay, so there are more like here. Then on the side, he said he never actually drew the side of, of the car, but um, I should make it somewhat McLaren P1 inspired, but cooler, whatever that means. <laughs> so what can we do to this, to this side? We can do a lot. But what do we want to do? Um, I think we start off with one of these. Because we're going to need a ton of cooling airflow anyway. Because, well, this, this engine is going to make a ridiculous amount of power. That's just a little bit too much. And we're gonna just uh, trim this a little bit. How do we do it? No, this is not the one I wanted to move. Thank you. Come on. We can also do it this way if you prefer doing it that way. Um, okay, so now I have a slight problem in that I cannot select the fixture I'm trying to select anymore. Anyway, 
right here. And clone this guy. not what I wanted to. What I wanted to do is, yeah, clone this guy. I mean, if if anybody is listening uh, listening to this uh, out of context, like clone this guy, that sounds a little bit awkward, right? Doesn't it? Like, it doesn't it doesn't really sound. It doesn't really sound like it makes a lot of sense. Because I'm not a scientist or anything like that. And people around me know that. This is a little bit... Wait, what? No, you know what? Can I select the U? Yes, I can. I'm gonna clone this a couple more times and to leave them at the side for now gonna worry about that later okay now now I will to round things up a little bit Let's do this. And then I think I'm also gonna... Oh wait. Yeah, you can clone that. Oh yes I can. Now I'll put this here. Wait, why is... This needs to go up a little bit further, like so. Or like so, yeah. Now the total cooling is a what, 280? Why? Like, there we go. At least, at least a little bit more. We're also gonna add a little bit of cooling here, I think. Or down there. But with what? Well, what if we just choose something as simple as this?
Yeah, that helped quite a lot. Now for the wing. Um, I'm thinking either this. Or uh, or this. I think I'm gonna go with option number one though. This one, because it looks more worthy of a supercar, if you will. Like the other one is from a WRX, which is you know there's nothing wrong with that, but. This just looks more exotic, more performance orientated, and trust me, this car is going to be quite fast. So, other than that, the rear end, uh, we have a little bit of plastic up here. On the, on the top section. But like this. I'm gonna close this gap right here with a little bit of finesse, if you will. Just choose one of these and put it in between so there's no gap. And then And then it's fine, good. Uh, but this is not the complete pattern yet. Wait. What did I just do? Oh, perfect. Move the, the one part that I didn't want to move. Oh wait, I need to select the thing in between again and make this taller. Alrighty then. Wait. Uh. Okay. Stop selecting different parts, please. Alrighty, so this is the plastic arrangement. Uh, then, ac actually no, not quite yet. We're also gonna do this. Yeah. Then we have some. Now I don't really know for sure which which part is the tail lights, which part is the part is just the body, and which part is the indicators. So. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a little bit, I'm gonna be a little bit uh, cre creative here. Use my power of free will, basically, and say that these um, 
these rectangular, well not rectangular, uh, these, these parts on the side here are going to be the tail lights. Gonna cover the rounded parts of these taillights actually. And with doing that I need to move these further up. And I'm gonna clone this guy. I'm also gonna need to make this bigger. Put this in here like so. Since I have no idea at this point where where the indicators are, but I have something that I can hold on to that is the position of the braking lights, there are gonna be uh, like here. Alrighty, now I'm I'm gonna build the diffuser, which I think I'm just gonna build with a couple of these. But the braking lights are above the diffuser and actually there's actually there's a small one here and then a little bit of a larger one here Then just clone these a couple of times. Uh, okay, now I got a little bit of a problem again, but don't don't worry about it. By the way, this this car, Parker Brandon, he calls it the Blitz Ensis. That's what that's what he calls this uh, this car. Uh, now another question: Where are the exhausts? Where the exhausts are, probably he might he might uh, he might have wanted this this thing to have side side pipes, which is cool. But uh, since I've already done done this car the way I have, I don't know if I if I'm gonna be able to. Give it some side pipes on this car. Um, therefore, let's just try and be a little bit creative here. Like 
like this. Is there anything else? Hmm. Well, I don't know. I I think I think I've done everything that is within my might, you know. And that is the aesthetics part. Um, so, what color do we want this this guy to be? Yellow, black, white, blue. Maybe a little bit less saturated of a blue like this. Yeah. Okay. The patch almost looks like a fourth patch. We will drive. And let's get into the engine build. It is supposed to be a twin turbocharged flat plane V8. And six liters of capacity with the highest possible revs. So, like with the highest possible revving uh, revability if you will dual overhead cam wait does it have five hours for surrender or four with vvl five hours for surrender okay now all the best parts plus the quality in here Cam profile is gonna be really aggressive. I don't think a hundred does benefit me too much though when it comes to maximum power output with a turbo. Compression will be relatively low. It is turbocharged. Um, and he says he, he wants excuse me, why is this at BSI? Um, he wants this to be he wants this engine to spool up as early as possible with the maximum boost. And, you know, okay, but gonna be a little bit, a little bit tricky to drive probably. Sixty-seven millimeters, sixty-seven and a half. Let's leave it here for now. This is at like 3800 RPM or something. This thing's gonna spool up. Direct injection, front persona, race intake. Let's ref this guy to 9000 for now. We can we can adjust this later. Maybe it, it revs even higher. Wouldn't surprise me. And we need all the power in the world. So let's get a, a, a six inch exhaust diameter on both sides. <laughs> That's why it's a dual exhaust. Okay, so this makes nowhere near enough power. Let's just increase this as far as we can without making the engine too big. Eighty-five. Why is the 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 run used decreasing with uh, when I when I uh, increase the compressor size? Twelve refills. Something's not right. Something's not right. gotta be the turbine let's decrease this here and make more power so this means the turbo is not gonna kick in as early as you would probably like oh uh, well 
but in return we're gonna make a ton of power 1531 yeah 52.5 seems pretty good Sixteen forty nine. Can you increase this by one more horsepower? Make sixteen fifty. Yeah, there we go. Okay, sixteen hundred and fifty horsepower. Need this to be stronger. Uh, alrighty, sixteen hundred and fifty horsepower is. Definitely quite something, I would say. It does have double clutch 8 speed gearbox. The electric LSD. Second gear should. Yeah, well. The top speed is gonna be ridiculous. Actually, probably not so much because we are going to turn this guy for more downforce semi slicks biggest possible rear tires as far as the front go, I think 295s or something are the best uh, Submission. Spacing 50, okay. Oh wait, it's supposed to be all-wheel drive? Ah, oh, okay. Okay, it's, it's, it's all-wheel drive. So, I don't know if this engine would fit then. Probably won't. Yeah. That's what I expected. Let's see. We would have to, to lower the bore so much though. I don't think I want to do that. Now we gotta get this back to 90. Yeah. To here basically and can we can we uh, fit this engine in if it's transverse all-wheel drive probably not like I would be really surprised if we could yeah we still can't how much do I have to change here even more yeah okay so let's leave it river drive, I guess. It will make for slightly lower, like slightly worse uh, acceleration figures, but only slightly. Because we're gonna, let's just think about it for a second. We're gonna put semi slicks with 385 millimeters of tire onto, onto this thing. 21 inch rims, perhaps. Magnesium rims? No carbon fiber. Um, 19 inch front and rear. Okay. And only 600 millimeter diameter. Okay, so it's not possible to make it smaller than 650. I'm not sure what that's about. I'm gonna go back to what I had. 21 inch. Because I know that bigger bigger rims um, will give you benefits in in many ways so 
first of all, this section right here. You wouldn't be able to fit this big of a disk size onto 19 inch rims. Uh, full piston ceramic brakes. Wait, what? Oh, six pistons up front, 365 millimeter. He, he would like. Okay, so let's do that. With one race pad type, just you know, go all the way. And four pistons with 325 or how much? 310. 310 in the rear. Let's do it. I mean, I will obviously retune if necessary. Then downforce, downforce, active wing, downforce, and downforce. Cooling airflow, we need way less, surprisingly. Best aerodynamic quality. Interior. That is probably... That's probably sport. And then... GPS, radio, etc. for the entertainment. What is that? Is that standard? I think it's standard these days to have a GPS. And then advanced safety. Active sport, semi-active and passive. And... Um, then a suspension setup that will get this thing around the track really quickly. So let's do that. And lower the right height. This is a pretty heavy car, all things considered. Like, f considering the fact that this is a common fiber car. Wait, why is this? Why is this engine putting out such little power? Oh. So I messed with it. Like an idiot. There we go. There we go. 2.3 seconds from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour. It reaches 302 kilometers an hour over the quarter mile. We can even go further on the top speed game here. There is that, the 50 spacing that they asked for, and it'll do it. It'll do it even faster now. <laughs> let's 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 give this thing a top speed run. Okay, I think that's it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, this 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 car is fast. Let, let me just tell you that much. Effort track in 11277. That's not I mean it's pretty hard to control that sort of power. So that's where that comes from probably. Let's 
let's see what it does around the green hell. 70409? I think it's it something. Yeah, it's oversteering. Which is not good. To get this back up, uh, we need to make sure it doesn't make sure it doesn't oversteer anymore. For that purpose, I think we're gonna make this a little bit softer. In front springs. That doesn't seem to help. This makes it oversteer more. Hmm. This makes it oversteer even more. Okay, what about this? What the heck is this graph? <laughs> like, game can't decide whether it's understeering or oversteering. What about this setup in general? 23 inch rims! Seven oh two sixty one. So I think that's that might be all I can get out of all I can get out of this car without you know lightening it as as much as possible by fitting no entertainment, going minus fifteen on the quality here and all that. We do not have brake fade. That's good. I, I don't know what else I could do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, especially Parker Brandon. It's been a long episode. If you did, please click the like button, it helps out a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.